Before we continue, there's two things I want to point out. The first is that in the scene where Ryuji plasters the calling card all over the school, I did not know this until comments pointed it out, but the calling cards on this billboard spell out Kamoshida in Katakana. That's so brilliant! And secondly... Hey. So, Morgana does warn you if there are still will seeds left in the palace. I've been waiting to hear you say that. It's also kind of cool how the dialogue is exactly the same, but the models are a little different if you send the calling card on a day when it's raining. So here's something that I wanted to check just because I had a spare save file from earlier. Can you get the third will seed on the day of the calling card? It looks like you still can. Oh, and it actually interrupts the music. So unfortunately, you'll have to see this again. But yeah, this is actually doable. That's, that's good to know that you're not completely screwed out if you leave it this late. Still better to take care of it before the calling card, though. Let's do this. Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we defeated Shadow Kamoshida's demon form and stole his treasure. Now all that's left is to await the change of hearts. That's okay. how this game's plot is structured, because they have to account for doing the deadline at any time. The plot can't progress until the actual deadline is up, so we have to wait out the next four days. But we've got Whoa. things to do, such as watching the rest of this DVD. Apparently we binge watch half the series one night and the other half tonight. They're all dead. How could... who could have done this? The larvae. It must have infected them. Got into their brains. We need to find those samples, Skullsy. Fast. <laughs> I don't think the voice actors for the DVDs are even credited, but they must have had so much fun with these because they're just ah. so overly hammy and silly. But yeah, Morgana. <laughs> I love Morgana's snarky comments on all of the films. It actually kind of reminds me of what I do a lot of the time. Oh. Yeah. Whenever there's some kind of mysterious alien parasite that's obviously deadly, um, usually the people's first instinct is, oh, let's just touch it. Uh, or worse, uh, attempt to weaponize it. The moment that, okay. that people attempt to weaponize oh. something like that, that's when you know that they've sparked an apocalypse. Not just with that, but it's also with DNA stories like dinosaurs, especially. Anytime there's like a military involvement that tries to weaponize something, you immediately go, Oh no, haven't you learned from all the hundreds of other militaries and movies that tried to do that? But anyway, today is Friday, but it's actually a public holiday, so we don't get to go to school. On holidays, you sometimes get texts from your confidants asking to hang out. And these are just telling you they're available, it's not like a special hangout or anything, except for some points where it is a special hangout, but we'll talk about those later on because that's part of the ACE guide. You don't get to respond immediately, so yeah, basically just a notification that they're available that day. Hey. <laughs> I love how Morgana's just shaking from inside that bag. Now, if you do answer that text, you get warped straight to them, but well, I want to kind of manually walk there myself. Thankfully, Ryuji and the rest are available now that we've dealt with Kamoshida. From now on, most, of, most guides are going to say to send the calling card immediately after you reach the treasure, because that way it frees up your party member confidants faster, but at this point, like, we couldn't even start arms anyway because we didn't have enough kindness. So really it was just Ryuji who was being held back and we could afford to put him off for a few days. But yeah, hopefully this is all fine. I mean, Morgana, our resident expert, um, happens to not have done this before. I mean, I wouldn't say we're actually worrying about him more than we're worrying about the fact that, you know, if he dies, one, we'll be murderers, and two, he won't be able to confess his crimes. And let's head downstairs. 
And yeah, Morgana's on all fours, which means we're allowed to go out. The boy is said to be the next Detective Prince. What happened to the previous one? Did she abdicate or something? Yeah, original Detective Prince was Naoto Shirogane. I still can't believe that Naoto ended up in like a crossover game that also happened to have a character called um called Kurogane, so it's like black metal and white metal. But yes, the new Detective Prince apparently has a lot of fangirls. And yeah, Golden Week, that's pretty much, as I said earlier, the one reprieve that Japanese high schoolers get for a long time. It's a week when a lot of public holidays happen to fall in a row. Thing is, in this game, the majority of them actually are plot events because it coincides with um, the end of this deadline, so we actually don't get to enjoy much of our Golden Week. Constitutional Memorial Day, Greenery Day, Children's Day. Hey, I remember that, because that's one of the few Japanese holidays the Pokemon animated and censor, although they called it Kids Day. And yeah, today is Showa Day, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that used to be the Showa Emperor's birthday, but after the Showa era ended, it became uh, still a public holiday, but it became like a day of remembrance and reflection for the Showa era, because, you know, that coincided with World War II. But on a less depressing note, let's uh, head around Yongen and see if there's uh, anyone here. And it's the dog family. I mean, oftentimes animals are, you know, pretty lazy around the house, but then they get active sometimes. Oh, yeah, that always sucks when a children's show gets cancelled due to, um... Yeah, that actually reminds me of uh, the fact that, um, like, I kind of had to actively avoid TVs during, um, uh, let's just say a certain date in 2021, because I was actually still, uh, a basically primary schooler when that happened, and that was pretty much all over the news and was kind of cancelling all the other coverage. But, okay, today I think we've talked to everyone in Station Square. Let's go to Central Street. I don't know why I actually manually walked to Yongenjaya Station, but, um, We've got business to do here, we have to return the DVD that we rented. And rent another one. We're going to be renting Wraith this time, which is apparently based on a show called Medium, which I've also never seen and don't really know a whole lot about, apart from the premise here that it's about somebody who can talk to ghosts. Just want to quickly see what they sell here. Mm. Oh, they don't even sell anything to us. So yeah, let's just head to the arcade. They're advertising a game called Mr. Drummer. I can feel it. And if you look closely with third eye, you can see it actually is the chariot car that's above Ryuji's head. So they do have different ones for each uh, person. Also, one day, one day, in a few days, those will restock their drinks. Oh, hey. Yeah, I guess hanging out might be a great way to alleviate some of that tension. And because we have slime, we can become closer to him. Uh, I would say that he must be like a 90s kid or something, but no, if he was a 90s kid, he'd be like in his 30s by now. Wanna get going? So yeah, this is done just to justify the fact that this rank up is exactly the same, whether you do it on a school day or not. But it kind of makes sense, because at Shujin Academy, they really just don't care about anything. I can see them leaving everything in the school unlocked on holidays. Also, this line's just kind of funny wording. Whoa! So you guys all happen to also be at school on a holiday training. I mean, I guess if they're um, really dedicated to their sports, that does make sense. But yeah, these are the former track team members who consider Ryuji a traitor. Ah, uh, he said he's sorry about that. Yeah, now's the time for de-escalating rather than just trying to get friendly. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much what's been said about us, too. Oh, 
Also, that is very much uncalled for. But yeah, this is exactly the kind of situation that got Ryuji into this trouble in the first place, so he should just calm down. I do like how this is something that Ryuji has to work his way through. How he sometimes lets his emotions get the better of him, and he does things that uh, he later on ends up regretting. Yeah, see, this thing is quite similar to what the volleyball team was putting up with. Something that I have not actually mentioned before. Uh, also, yeah. Um, this game does have some higher level swearing than some of the other Persona games did, but most of it is unvoiced. Ryuji is still only allowed to say F most of the time. But yeah, what I was gonna say was, um... There's often this attitude in Japan that just quietly enduring suffering is something that contributes to strength of character. <sighs> and it may play into why a lot of people did nothing about Kamoshida. It's often referred, well, it's, it's referred to as like gaman or um, endurance, but sometimes it also plays into something called shikata nai or it can't be helped. And slightly less awkward high five. And with that, we get rank 3 and follow up. This is essentially a guaranteed critical hit on one enemy as long as Ryuji is in the party. The thing is, I feel like this right. is really rare. I played this game for many, many hours and I don't see follow ups very often. Maybe it's just because Joker's usually able to down most enemies. Ah hmm? uh, yes, they um they are like just like Warhammer 40k orcs. When they have no enemy to fight, they just go back to fighting each other. See Since ya. 40k orcs are based on football hooligans, I mean it's a kind of makes sense. These guys are sort of track team hooligans. I like how these new extra conversations in Royal build on a lot of the um, the confidant like conversations from earlier. Like again, Ryuji admitting that he gets pissed off easily. However, no sparkles there. And at least Ryuji practices proper um, exercise. Um, I don't know, like. I wouldn't say etiquette, like, you know, health. Unlike a certain Chariot Arcana character from Persona 3 who almost destroys his legs because he's so stubborn. And the best responses to him early on in the social link are to encourage him. Yeah, P3 has some weird social links. It's like, looking back on it, I feel like a lot of its non-party social links actually aren't that great. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, just more blaming yourself for things that clearly he's just at fault for. I mean, I understand why Arn is like this, though. I know a lot of people in these kind of situations go through with this, like, you know, thinking if I had said something to her or, you know, if I had listened to her problems more, maybe she wouldn't have done that, but... I mean, I feel like she did what she could and Shiho wasn't really saying much. Sometimes it's just it's hard to tell when someone's going through something that intense and what they're thinking. But yeah, Ryuji and Arn used to know each other back in middle school, but they're a lot closer now. Oh right, the TV's gonna just uh, be the same thing as before. Because today we're gonna be honestly kind of boring, we're just gonna study here uh, in Leblanc. Uh, yes, that is, uh, that is what we're doing. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Yeah, it's like, um, the pronunciation of the Make name, sure like the C up. is kind of silent. I'm trying to pronounce it the way the characters do. It is obviously named after the author of the Arsene Lupin books. So they have actually mentioned that yet. Uh, speaking of which, I can now say that, um, the first part of this series, I specifically titled it what I did because the first Arsene Lupin story was called The Arrest of Arsene Lupin. 
I was actually making a literary reference there. Well then. You'll tire yourself out if you keep at it for too long, speaking of Persona 3 references. I know, I, I hope that I don't reference the earlier Persona games too much, but like, I do like to mention things from 3 and 4 sometimes, because I have played all of them. Hey. Of course, I do think 5 stands alone quite well. Probably, it may even be better as a standalone game than 3 or 4 due to how accessible the gameplay is. So today we're going to be reading The Alluring Dancer, which I hope is based more on the mm -hmm. opera and not on the actual, like, original Karma novel, which, yeah. um, from what I could tell briefly looking into it, it's definitely, uh, yeah, it kind of blames her Romani heritage on all of the things she does in the story, so... I, I've heard that the, the, the opera definitely superseded the original novel, which is pretty much considered just a trashy pulp thing. And probably meant to be some kind of, like, lurid, exotic fan service story. The board meeting is the day after tomorrow. Yeah, some of these, uh, station conversations are fully voiced and some aren't. I wonder if Kamoshida really had a change of heart. What if we failed? Uh, that's all I've been able to think about. We did do what we could. I guess all I can do now is believe. But how strange. I feel a bit better now. Maybe it's because of your composure? I like the way that he's just saying, he's just like, I'm always composed. We'll be able to avenge Shiho, and you won't get expelled. After break, we'll all be able to laugh together. Oh yeah, Arn isn't at risk of expulsion, I just realized that. That's what I'll believe. Hi, everyone! <laughs> this is another teacher whose, like, regular voice clips I just find so memorable. Just that, hi, everyone! Vaguely condescending sounding. Yeah, Japan actually has a lot of loan words from English, even though some of them don't quite mean the same things that they actually do, like mansion actually meaning apartment building. Oh yes, yes it is. It's more important than you realize. Let's hear it. A uh, wunderkind, I think. Um. Yeah, I wonder how often German is taught as a second language in Japanese schools. And since this is like like a, a European language, I. I Generally, I'm able to figure these out because they often sound kind of similar to, to English, unless you're talking Finnish, which is really, really different to basically anything else in the vicinity. But anyway, yeah, so this would be Wonder. Kind. This one, it makes more sense if you know that it's pronounced kind, not kind, even though it looks the same as the English word. So it's not actually kindness, it is child because, you know, kindergarten. Yeah, as Morgana's saying. <laughs> I mean, technically yes, but in this case it means a prodigy. That's correct. I think I remember reading somewhere that the like the, the, the term masterpiece is actually a literal translation uh, of um I don't I don't want to go on record saying it's German because it may not be. Yeah, I did know about that. Yeah, there are a lot of words that didn't mean what they originally meant. Like, pretty much nobody these days uses the term wants to mean lacking. Nice going. I mean, you'll occasionally get, like, um, you know, sort of serious works that have characters saying, none shall find us wanting. But, um, yeah, most of the time... <laughs> Interesting way to put that. But I mean, you know, the idea of people being able to change their masks and going into TV, well, yeah, that just brings back more references to earlier Persona games. Have you seen Kamoshida? You really think he changed? Well, yeah. 
Oh, perfect timing. The study hall will be held instead of PE today. I'm letting you know just in case you haven't heard. Well, study hall was always a period that I look forward to because you could just kind of freely do stuff. Mr. Kamoshida has taken the day off. He ain't here? Don't tell anyone that you heard this from me. But we received word that Mr. Kamoshida is placing himself under suspension. It's such an important time before the tournament, too. Principal Kobayakawa went to talk to him about it, but he supposedly wasn't making any sense. Oh, Kobayakawa, no wait, sorry, Humpty Dumpty is gonna be mad. Wait, a suspension? Not so loud. The talks about your expulsions may be put on hold, too. I don't know too much about it, though. Anyway, I've relayed what's going on to you. Looks like something happened. At least it sounds different from a mental shutdown. I guess all we can do is wait. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, I had a feeling it was more hospital visits. You wouldn't want to go too far away from Shiho right now. <sighs> well, yeah, we've got Golden Week coming up. I'm sure we could all do something. Yeah, Morgana's hinting at what you need to continue her. Um, yeah, we, we've definitely ranked up kindness by this point. Now, is anyone in school going on about that rumor about... Yeah, it looks like the school newspaper girl has heard. Yeah, because people here are going to be talking about that calling card, aren't they? Well, let's hope she doesn't dig up too much on them. Now the guys in the Yandere are still saying exactly the same things. It's probably just a prank by someone who watches too much anime, I just noticed that. <laughs> well, you're kind of not wrong. I'd assume Ryuji probably does watch too much anime. Hmm? See, so yeah, everyone around is talking about this. Maybe this hopefully wakes up the school. Right now, everyone's brushing it off as just a prank. <laughs> you know, given this guy is like one of the only reasonable faculty members of the school, I'd be totally okay if he took Kamoshida's job. Well, that hero guy has someone to look up to now. Oh, I didn't even know this school had a soccer club. <laughs> yeah, they're probably not very notable considering Kamoshida probably ruined all of their um, chances of getting recognized. It's gonna have to learn to survive somehow. Okay. Ah, uh, well, yeah, please don't lump those two together. I mean, we don't really know much about Yoshizawa at the moment, but she obviously did not seem anything like in the same league as him. Okay, he does actually have slightly different dialogue now that uh, Kamoshida's not going to school. What about you girls? Well, they don't have a reason to be depressed any longer. Also, pretty sure that he doesn't really have a female fan club, and it's actually something much worse than that. Hmm? 
Okay, now we've gathered the gossip around school, what we actually need to do today is watch a movie in Central Street. And I'm glad for that because I, I really like all of the movies in this game. Uh, yeah, the ACE guide sees pretty much all of them. And now we can unlock this as a fast travel point. We actually weren't able to watch movies earlier, so it wouldn't let us get this travel point. It does cause time to pass, but you do get a pretty decent social stamp bonus. And also, typically every month has its own movie. Now this is kind of the first time, like, and probably only time we'll be seeing one alone. Usually you see these with a, a confidant and it gives you points with them in addition to the social stamp bonus. But uh, yeah, this one is obviously a reference to the movie Slumdog Millionaire, which is one that I have actually seen. Oh yeah, we do need to pay for the ticket. <laughs> We're paying for this with Kamoshida's money. Some slumdog brat wins so much prize money. It's just not possible. You must have cheated. No, it wasn't cheating. It was destiny. I do remember enjoying the movie when I saw it. I didn't see it right when it came out, but um. I would say what my favourite part of that film is, but it is kind of a spoiler. Though I, I do also like the part where he, um, uh, as a kid, acts as an unofficial tour guide at the Taj Mahal and trolls tourists with blatantly incorrect info. Let's head back. I always like staying until the credits of, of films, though that's mainly because I'm used to a lot of films that have post credit scenes. Now, I have very strange memories of Slumdog Millionaire, though, because... Uh, you're back. That film obviously was up for, in fact, I forget it, did it actually win Best Picture? I think maybe it actually did, but um, it, it was definitely nominated that year at the Oscars, and uh, the Oscars that year, Hugh Jackman did like a full musical number, uh, introducing all of the nominations, and it is pretty much burned into my memory because my mother watched that clip uh, of him doing that song over and over and over and over. So like, I can almost recite the whole song by heart now. But thinking about it though, it is kind of interesting because uh, in the song he definitely mentioned The Dark Knight. In fact, he basically did a giant jab at the Academy for not nominating it for a Best Picture even though it was considered really good and made millions of dollars. And he also mentioned Iron Man in that song, and yeah, Iron Man 1 came out in 2008 too. So, like, wow, I just, it's kind of amazing thinking, because that started the MCU, which is now kind of completely dominated. So, yeah, 2008 was a pretty uh, massive year for movies, though, because, like, in that song, he also mentioned, uh, I believe, um, Frost Nixon, uh, he actually, my, probably my favourite part of that song is when he did a duet with Anne Hathaway, uh, where they, um, <laughs> um, they basically made it a love duet that shipped Frost and Nixon, which, I mean, given fan fiction online, it's probably happened at some point. But yeah, that's just my random memories of that, uh, there was also, um, like, there's also The Wrestler, a lot of uh, major films uh, came out in, tw in 2008. Led by a mysterious figure, the Feathermen reunite! However, their memories have been stolen. Is there any way they can regain their lost memories? Revive and fight, Phoenix Rangers! Next episode. Don't take three sips, you'll lose your memories! Yeah, I love um, announcing those in like a Saturday morning cartoon voice, uh, even though it's actually Tokusatsu, but yeah, Phoenix Ranger Featherman is a recurring thing in the Persona series. Okay. It was actually a very major plot point in Persona 2, but ever since then it's mostly become a background detail. Morgana's just saying to wait. So yeah, today all we're going to be doing is crafting, which means I'm probably okay. going to be making more lockpicks. The other accessories are all pretty good. But I just, I just want to make yeah. as many lockpicks as I can just to make sure that I always have enough for lock chests because, you know, I, I will always just freak out if I miss something in a one-time dungeon. And the lock yes. chest rewards are pretty yeah. good. And the main reason we did crafting though is we now have a rank up in proficiency. All right. So knowledge is the only one that hasn't reached level 2 yet. Well, then. 
Wonder if we could go to the bathroom and see uh, how close it is to raising. Yeah, I definitely know that Iron Man came out in 2008 wow. because uh, I watched it on the plane trip to Japan and that was the year that I, well, went to Japan on a school trip. I guess we can check out the home shopping program. Uh, except today we're going to be spending a lot of money on other things, so I don't think we'll have much money for anything there. Yes, I know about the banning cages. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to show off the banning cages for a long time. It's actually a full-on minigame. <laughs> also, yes, screaming their grievances of society, Joker is interested. I'm sure Ryuji would be very interested, especially since his weapons are pretty bat-like. Too old to try becoming a baseball player? Huh, how young do you have to start? Anyway, let's check out what's being sold. We've got military ration sets. <laughs> you can use up all of those and have Nell yell at you in Advance Wars 2's tutorial. <laughs> There's actually some pretty funny dialogue in that game if you intentionally run your infantry out of fuel in that one, which is obviously pretty much impossible to do unless you're intentionally trying. It's like the only way you can fail that mission too. Two protein and two moist protein. As weird as that sounds, moist protein is actually better. Protein is actually used for something else, which um, we don't have access to right now. It's actually unlocked a little later in either Ryuji or Arn's confidant. But how expensive are they? I mean, oh, that's relatively cheap and it has some SP items. You know what? I'm going to buy that. We're actually going to get even more scripted money soon, so, and we also haven't even sold our palace loot, so I'm, I'm pretty confident. There will be a certain point where we need 100,000 yen, and yeah, I will probably want to save up some money for that. Oh yeah, I think I forgot to mention this last time, but when you go out of Leblanc, during the day, if you try and go back in, it will advance to evening, so make sure you've done everything you want to do inside there before you go out for the day. So yeah, I mentioned today that we're going to be spending a lot of money, and that's because we're going to be going to the underground walkway, and it's a Sunday, so we're going to be drinking uh, juice again. So this time, it should be... Welcome. Proficiency juice. You think you'd get a guts increase just for trying this. But just a very, very small proficiency increase for a lot of money, but every little bit helps as far as social stats go. Well, I guess, you know, Shujin definitely doesn't have a lot of good rumours circulating around it. It's supposed to be an elite prep school, but it seems to be like one of the worst places that you want to send a child here. There are often a couple of Sujin students who gather in the underground mall. I want to see if they've got anything to say. Nope, they're not even here today. Okay, it looks like nobody has anything new to say, so I'm going to head to the flower shop, because what we also need to do today is not work. We need to do some shopping, and we need to buy three bionutrients. Can also get some of these... No, I'd rather save my money for the moment. So yeah, I've done that, done that. Our next stop is to... Can we actually zoom there? Nope, it's just Ryuji. I, I, yeah, you don't always get a uh, an invite from every confidant, because we're actually going to be ranking up to Kemi today. So let's go to the clinic. And, um, yeah. Let's participate in more drug trials. Yeah, you have to have level 2 guts at least to do this rank. And good, we have a death persona. Please head to the exam room. Unfortunately, this being rank 2, it's not fully voiced. I do really like Abby Trotters to come out. I've noticed a lot of a lot of people have different opinions. Some people prefer original voice, and I can see that. It's just, I've played Royal much more than I played the original, so I'm more used to Abby Trot. Well, we're drinking two weird things today. 
Skull. Well, that's not what you want from an experimental medicine. And out. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, my knockout drug is working perfectly. Blood, okay then. Motor skill test would be the kind of thing where they like hit your knee with a hammer and see if you um kick. What? I don't need a warrant. My name is Arrogant Officer, so you know that I'm corrupt. Well, she knows how to deal with this kind of thing. It's probably not her first time. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently this is actually the best option here. I have a bad heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we really aren't doing anything illegal. <sighs> yeah, see here, as much as it as much as I would like to probe into this, it's better not to. Yeah. We're a little too early into the relationship. I mean, technically speaking, I could have answered any of those since we got the sparkles in the previous one, so we've already unlocked the next rank. But still, I want to select the best options most of the time. Yeah, that's the guy, I had a feeling. Basically, just keep sending By them the over way. here, hoping that they find something illegal. Well, anything for the Super Saiyan medicine. I've heard of Eat Your Hamburgers, Apollo, but now it's Take Your Medicine, Joker. <laughs> oh boy, uh, just be a little careful. Remember, we're supposed to not be doing illegal things in here. A very slight guts boost for doing this. It's from pretty much yeah. every rank up with Takemi. Or even not rank ups, I think. Yeah, a lot of the confidants in this game boost social stats. Which is definitely convenient, especially early on. See, I mean, she makes jokes about going too far, but she, she still cares about her patients and, you know, wants to make sure, obviously, that they don't have any uh, untoward side effects. This is another option that I really wish I could choose, but this is actually the best one. Has there ever been any, like, superhero in comics who, like, got their superpowers via accident from just being given medicine from a doctor? Because usually it's, you know, radioactive animals biting them, but I don't know. Or, like, something exploding near them. But, um, yeah, just random mixed-up medicines, maybe. Don't know if that's ever happened. Although now I'm just being reminded of, I think in the Deadpool movie that he kind of wanted a cure for his cancer and instead he got, in his words, a cure for everything. But yeah, we did everything we could. I can't offer more reassurance, but he should have the change of heart. 
Let's just believe in that while we wait for tomorrow. And no, oh. <laughs> no, we're not going to be watching Suriyama. While we wait, I was going to say we should have, we should uh, relax at the bathhouse. I think you can still. Oh wait, I already bought uh, stuff from there. But yeah, I think you have two chances. You have like the day and the evening to buy stuff from the home shopping channel. But we are going to be uh, going to the bathhouse tonight because it's a Sunday. Is the drunk guy saying anything new? Doesn't look like it. But before I do that, since it's going to be skipping, I'm going to save now. Because yeah, obviously plot is going to happen tomorrow. So I just want to make sure that all my progress is saved before then. Oh, what do you want to do? I have 500 yen, but that's not really much of a debt in our wallet at this point. And eventually it'll become even less of a dent. I still, I still love this. <laughs> I still love just how he blankly stares forwards. Oh. Looks like the two kids that you sometimes see around the place at night are here too. Wanna head back? Well, hopefully that was relaxing enough because tomorrow it's the moment of truth. Did our first heist succeed?